Assalamualaikum doctors. In this video, I am discussing a video stations that is Cushing syndrome or Cushing goit features. So Cushing syndrome it come two zero two three Portsmouth UK October. Uh, that the video is like Cushing syndrome patient overweight boy with moon face, trya, hirsutism and buffalo hum sitting on a couch and someone examining him. So Cushing syndrome patient how look like look the um, look this man that is he is overweight. He has an abdomen stria. We have seen that is buffalo hump. Uh, we are seeing they have um, double chin, and there is on the face is also some acne. Uh, these are gynecomastia. So this is Cushing syndrome. Um, what I uh, find, I will describe first. Um, then uh, the differential diagnosis of Cushing syndrome are either Cushing syndrome, either iatrogenic or endogenous. Other causes of obesity, hypothyroidism, pseudo hypoparathyroidism, and pen hypopituitarism. So, our DDR, first of all, Cushing syndrome, it can be um, hypothyroidism, it can be obesity, it can be pen hypopituitarism, and pseudo hypoparathyroidism. So, what are the history you will ask this patient? First of all, onset course in duration, what increase and what decrease? Then, nutritional history and his lifestyle, level of exercise, any special features and mentality. Any chronic illness like nephrotic, SLE, asthma, steroid intake, school performance, attendance and bullying, pubertal history, skin discoloration and its color and size, acne and hair distribution, tummy size, any nocturnal urethesis and frothy urine, snoring at night, palpitation, chest pain on activity, any abnormal gait, joint pain, sign of increased intracranial pressure, headache, vision problems, any family members with the same condition or chronic disease. So, is the onset course and duration what make it better what make it um, worse as yes, obesity feature so nutritional history level of his activity level of exercise lifestyle these are then about the any special features mentality sometimes obesity associated with syndromic features so any dysmorphic features then uh, school performance bullying school performance because hypothyroidism is the dd so school performance any bullying and uh, puberty history uh, the skin discoloration, any color uh, and size, acne and hair distributions. We know they have excess hair also. So these are then uh, snoring at night. Obese patient has uh, obstructive sleep apnea. So snoring at night, palpitation, chest pain. Uh, then tummy size, any nocturnal enurosis and frothy urine. Any abnormal gait, joint pain, sign of increased intracranial pressure, headache, vision problem. Any family members with the same condition or chronic disease. What is the examination we will do? As usual, airway, breathing, circulations, vitals, especially the blood pressure, oxygen saturation, random blood sugar. Take the full measurement, weight, height, and BMI, and plot on the appropriate centile, pubertal assessment, and tenor staging, vision, and visual field. General examination for sign of steroid toxicity, adrenaline, abdominal, cardiac, respiratory, MSK, neurological examination. So, we do the ABCD vitals, blood pressure, obese. So, RBS we are doing, lipid profile we can do. Uh, BMI centile high to eight, eight, appropriate growth chart we are doing uh, then we are doing uh, what abdominal MSK cardiac anything we can do because lots of complications present and we tenor staging we do pivotal assessment tenor staging vision and visual feed and general examination for sign of steroid toxicity because Cushing syndrome develops side effects of steroid respiratory system examination because bronchial asthma can be causes steroid take MSK GIA that takes steroid now what investigation we run? Basic workup for obesity. What is the basic workup for obesity? Random blood sugar, HbA1c, liver function test, renal function test, lipid profile, sex hormones and MRI brain, abdominal ultrasound, echo, sleep study, fundus examination, hip x-ray for mm, Sufi. Then confirming the Cushing diagnosis in midnight, salivary cortisol uh, and 24 hour urinary cortisol and low dexamethasone suppression test, low dexamethasone suppression test to confirm that this is Cushing syndrome and this high Cortisone not due to stress or PCO or other cause. If Cushing, it will not respond. Then to differentiate the cause, high dexamethasone suppression test. If pituitary cortisone level will be decreased, ACTH hormone level high ACTH to be causes. So the investigations are first of all the basic workup for obesity. First of all, we can do um, you know lipid profile, HbA1c, random blood sugar level, X-ray of the um, hip can do because Sufi Sufi can be developed and um, others are like um, sex hormones and MRI brain, abdominal ultrasound, echo and mainly the diagnostic test of Cushing syndrome are midnight salivary cortisol and 24 hour urinary cortisol. So this is management is a fully multidisciplinary team. For my consultant pediatrician, endocrinologist, dietitian, cognitive behavioral therapist, pulmonologist, ENT, cardiologist, nephrologist, ophthalmologist, 
liaise with the school and family counseling and we give the advice lifestyle modification for all family and the child nutritional advice for healthy food and more exercise so management of cushing syndrome is a first we involving the multidisciplinary team my consultant pediatrician endocrinologist ent um, liaise with the school psychologist support to the family um that ent um, then we can dietitian we are involving cognitive behavioral therapist to involving um ophthalmologist nephrologist cardiologist these are family counseling and we give the advice to take the healthy diet lifestyle modification um, exercise increase the activity daily life then we are going what is the cause of headache cause of headache in cushing syndrome are seromotor cerebri hypertension side effect of steroid and central cause type of stria in cushing are stria rubra stretch mark due to thinning of the skin and other types of stria are stria alba and stria atrophicans so this is all about cushing syndrome video station it also come on clinical thank you